Hello. Our devotion for today is titled, The End Times, Incense, Prayers, and Fire. It is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 8. In this text, the apostle John continues describing a vision that he received from the Lord. The seventh seal and the golden censer. When the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was a silence in heaven for about half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. And another angel came and stood at the altar with a golden censer. And he was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar before the throne. And the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints rose before God from the hand of the angel. Then the angel took the censer and filled it with fire from the altar and threw it on the earth. And there were peals of thunder rumblings, a flashes of lightning, and an earthquake, the seven trumpets. Now the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared to blow them. The first angel blew his trumpet, and there followed hail and fire mixed with blood. And these were thrown upon the earth, and a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all green grass was burnt up. The second angel blew his trumpet, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood. A third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel blew his trumpet, and a great star fell from heaven, blazing like a torch, and it fell on a third of the rivers and the springs of water. The name of the star is Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood, and many people died from the water because it had been made bitter. The fourth angel blew his trumpet, and a third of the sun was struck, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of their light might be darkened, and a third of the day might be kept from shining, and likewise a third of the night. Then I looked, and I heard an eagle crying with a loud voice as it flew directly overhead, Woe, woe! Woe to those who dwell on the earth at the blasts of the other trumpets that the three angels are about to blow. The last seal was broken and it became completely quiet in heaven. A silence of breathless anticipation before the final act in the great drama. What was going to happen now? When we read the book of Revelation, there are many visions and images that are revealed to us from God. The veils are partially lifted. Colors, images, clouds of incense are observed for a moment. The roaring of water, the noise of uncountable voices, Thunder and rumbling, and the sound of trumpets flows towards us. Then the scene changes again. It's impossible for us to say for sure what all these pictures mean. They can't be arranged into a logical system and then interpreted into an account depicting everyday life. Uh, much of this probably won't be understood before the time of fulfillment. 
However, if we look at these pictures, they'll begin to talk to us. Although a lot of it is difficult to express, it fills us with a strong and vivid premonition of what's going to happen. When we read the eighth chapter in Revelation, our thoughts go time and time again to the disastrous threat that has hung over our generation since we discovered that we could use atomic energy to destroy and terrorize one another. The images close in on us, hail and fire that burns up a third of the world's forests, the burning mountain that falls into the ocean so fishermen die and their boats perish, the poisonous star that fell on the land and makes the waters dangerous to drink. A disaster like this that would take a large portion of the human life on earth can happen at any time. We know that. And if it comes, maybe the intention is that we should know that the seventh seal has been broken and the end is near. What do we think about, however, when we read about incense, the prayers, and the fire from the altar. The image of prayers from the holy ones, rising like clouds of incense up to God, carried in the hand of an angel, mixed with heaven's own wonderful scent, would cause everyone to pray with joy. But why are the same censers filled with fire from the altar? And why is this fire thrown down to earth? In both cases, it's the same fire. God's fire. The fire of love and holiness. It lights faith, faith's prayers. It lifts them and receives them and fills them with heaven's own scent of incense. For faithlessness, for faithlessness, however, it becomes a fatal fire that falls from heaven, burning and hot like rain over Sodom and Gomorrah. The same fire. Let us pray. Our prayer for today is taken from Psalm 46. God, you are our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, although the earth should change, although the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, although its waters roar and foam, although the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High, she shall not be moved. God will help her right early. The Lord of hosts is with us even then. You are our refuge even when everything is shattered. Jesus, in your holy name, we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.